the Republican Party's 2020 platform opposing eminent domain for turnpike expansion. But is that still the case? If we can't take someone at their word, what can we take them at? And that is where we begin here at 6. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Jolene Cheney. That platform has a lot of people wondering why some leaders, including the governor, seem to be on board with the planned expansion. News 4's Natalie Kleinsdale is joining us here in studio with more on this. What did you find out, Natalie? Yeah, the outrage over the planned turnpike continues. Now Norman residents are pointing out that using eminent domain to build and operate toll roads goes against what the Republican Party campaigned on. This is a very emotional thing when you talk about destroying people's homes, hopes and dreams. More outrage over the proposed turnpike expansion project. My head wants to explode. The proposed project would add three new turnpikes to the South Metro area. One near Will Rogers Airport, one through Moore and another through Norman and could impact hundreds of homes in the process. It's a big deal. Oklahoma's governor publicly on board with the plan. Part of our uh, method of showing Oklahomans we're open for business is investing in infrastructure and uh, it, this is a super exciting announcement for uh, for the state of Oklahoma. The most recent version of the GOP's principles says quote we oppose public private partnerships and the use of eminent domain to build and operate toll roads and bridges. We support a moratorium on the creation of additional turnpikes. How about that? This is the platform that Governor Stitt campaigned on to get elected. Which is only adding fuel to the residents' anger. If we can't take someone at their word, what can we take them at? The Oklahoma Republican Party was not available for an interview Thursday, but sent news for a statement saying in part, quote, at the state Republican Party, we must promote and adhere to the state party platform and values. That said, members within the Republican Party understandably have varying opinions on this matter. And now Norman's mayor pleading the governor to take action. Governor Stitt also has the power to stop it. So I'm calling on him to listen to Oklahomans and do what's right and save their homes. We also reached out to the governor's office twice today and have not heard back. 